on the bright side is brought to you by Uno, a brand committed with the future. Kathleen Skeen is a seamstress. She's been in the business for over three decades. If you ask her, she'd tell you she didn't choose the profession, but rather it chose her. She's busy at work sewing another uniform for a student. She couldn't even tell me the number of uniforms she's sewn so far. That's because Skeen is busy at work in a seamstress's high season. Right now, due to COVID, it's still not as busy as it would normally be. It's a bit, but not as much. It's very low compared. How was it before COVID? Before COVID, it was a disaster. <laughs> as her welcome sign indicates, it's a profession with too much fabric and too little time. Some families place their orders months ahead to get the perfect fit of uniforms. Then there are others that come trickling in at the 11th hour. Well, you find that sometimes a lot of people, they come and they want to come at the last minute. Some would come early, like in a school clothes. Some start to come. I don't want my uniforms late, so I'm here. But a lot of people just wait until sometime the last week. I have people that hasn't come with cloth as yet. For latecomers, they run the risk of getting only one or two tailored uniforms to start them off. The perfect fit carries a sense of pride for the students wearing it, as well as the seamstress who tailored it. For Skeen, she can knock up a perfect set in three hours, two tops. The experience, she says, is generational teaching. They're like they say in the blood. My sister Heidi was sewing my aunt, my grandmother, several of us. And I have a lot of cousins over the country sewing. You feel like this is your purpose? Yes. Because you know, you make people smile when they put on their clothes and, and they feel good. I used to sew Queen's dresses. I used to sew for Miss Universe in the past when they used to make clothes. I do have a lot of customers. I had much more in the past, but since everything started coming in um, ready-made clothes, it has depleted quite a bit except for uniforms. I used to do uniforms for BTL, BL, different um, businesses, but I can't do that anymore. It's too much for my body. Sewing uniforms is a labor of love that ultimately takes a toll on the body. Skeen is also a part of the disabled community. She's an amputee and member of the Belize Assembly for persons with diverse abilities. But I have a prosthetic leg that I use. And I remember after the accident, my sister said, so what are you going to do? Sit at home? I said, look at girl. Say, you have your two hands. Come back and work. So I did that and since the, from then it's 80, 38 years now i think we all need to show that we care for people and we want the best for them and for them to see that we are doing something for for ourselves and for the community that they too can do it yeah. because many people think that because they have lost a hand or a leg that they can't do anything again. But it's not so. Life goes on and you have to make the best of life. Making the best of life for the seamstress and amputee is done one apparel at a time. Because of her age, this may be her last year in the business. But we learned that she has other hobbies she looks forward to, like reading. For now, Skeen is hard at work on her last leg of a seamstress's high season. Looking on the Bright Side, I'm Sabrina Daly. On the Bright Side was brought to you by Uno, a brand committed with the future. That's the sound of fuel efficiency. Every day, every time, I choose Uno Fuels powered with Dynamax. 
uno. A brand committed with the future.